Tom Edwards. Uh, welcome to the SIGA Youth Council. It's great to have you on board. Would you like to share with us who is Tom Edwards? What does Tom Edwards do for a living? And what do you expect to reach within the sports industry? Yeah, no, thank you, Nuno. So I appreciate you speaking to me today. So yeah, as you said, my name is Tom Edwards. I'm currently the sport development manager here at Surrey Sports Park. Um, and my role is predominantly kind of focus on getting people active. So that's out in the community as well. So that's kind of your sport for social change, but also for our kind of student population at the University of Surrey and the projects we run there kind of focus right at the bottom of participation, just being active for the first time, all the way up to our performance end, which is kind of our high performance sports and dual career athletes. Um, so yeah, quite varied, but something I really enjoy. Um, where I want to achieve is kind of a, like what I want to achieve is quite a difficult question, really. I think the opportunity to kind of keep expanding on what I've done already is a really exciting prospect. So whether it's that development, that performance piece, maybe at a national and international level is probably one day where I kind of want to get to. It's funny that you mentioned this um, keeping people active because that's probably the root of sport for, for regular people. However, the sport industry is much more than that. Um, what do you think? Wh why? Not what do you think? Why did you decide to join SIGA and namely the SIGA Youth Council for this term? Yeah, I think, like you touched on, sport is more than just being active and having fun. I mean, the professionalism of it nowadays and kind of the financial benefits and kind of the economic side you see at a national level is kind of really important. So for me, like SIGA, having someone who's overseeing kind of this integrity piece to make sure that NGB sports organizations, even governments, I guess, involved in sports are doing the right thing for the right reasons. So for me to join kind of the Youth Council and kind of be a member that's kind of selected amongst the other 12, um, yeah, it was a no-brainer, really. This opportunity to kind of have a voice as a young person contributing to this message going forward, making sure people are aware that kind of governance of sport isn't just kind of at the high level we shouldn't only think about it when something goes wrong it's to ensure that actually let's set up processes and plans in place to avoid it in the first place it's like making sport accessible for all i guess um yeah. what what do you think what do you think is the role of the city youth council to reform sport to make sport more accessible more inclusive and cleaner also with more integrity in a few words yeah i think kind of you touched on it there i think from the youth council's point of view it's just building on kind of the universal standards that SIGA themselves kind of identified um and i think it's important that younger people whether it's kind of as people are coming out of their careers at kind of college university age or even earlier they're aware of kind of the impact of it if we take something such as like um anti-doping that education has got to be there as soon as possible because any kind of mismanagement from a coach will actually will have a direct effect on the athlete. So they need to be aware of kind of such situations as soon as possible. If they can have a voice about kind of other contexts in terms of governance and sport as a whole, that to me is an only, only a benefit really. When we look at the, 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 the universal standards, as you mentioned, uh, we have these four uh, issues, the The, 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 the betting, the sports betting integrity, the financial transparency, the youth development and child protection, and also the good governance. In your professional life, do you come across problems in any of these areas? If so, can you tell us uh, which? And uh, also, which is for you the most important uh, universal standard on sport integrity that SIGA developed? Yeah, so I was a former elite athlete, so I used to compete for fencing, um, I will compete in fencing for Great Britain and Wales. And unfortunately, my national governing body, um, so British fencing at the time, were quite poor at handling kind of selection processes. And as a result, it meant I personally kind of missed out on um, a selection for a World University Games. And to me, that is kind of a, a whole kind of collection of bad decisions along the way that resulted in kind of general poor governance. So that's kind of, as a top tier, I think kind of good governance is something that we need to really consider across everything as a whole. But 
given the fact I work day in, day out in kind of sport development and kind of the performance piece and kind of moving people through that pathway, for me, that's the most exciting one. And seeing that that's been added recently to that universal, universal standards, I think that's the exciting part. And do you, do you think that um, you can make the difference in your work with the students you work with? Uh, how, how, how does your knowledge affect your daily practice? Yeah, I'm quite fortunate that my role um, is to kind of oversee a group of, uh, group of staff and they're absolutely brilliant and they work really hard to make sure the students have the best possible experience. But given the experiences I've had beforehand and, and kind of lead in this team at the moment, it's kind of that top down look like how can we see the collective picture, what as a whole will benefit as many people as possible. So it's ensuring we do things right, ensure we have processes in place to kind of follow for a reason. If we're saying certain people are going to be selected for our university team, there's a justification behind it um, because then we're just one keeping ourselves safe, but we're giving the best and the fairest opportunity for our students. And I think if we can open that up to kind of a national or global level as well, and if I can have a even a small impact on that along the way, um, that to me is quite quite exciting, really. I think this is the power of youth, um, being more informed, be willing to to act, and working together with other bright young people. That's what you are doing uh, with the SIGA Youth Council. And I thank you for that. I think every sports fan, thank everyone who, who is willing to, to make a, a difference. And I, I won't take you more time. I just want to thank you once again for your time and to wish you luck in this mission, which is a mission for everyone. Thank you very much, Tom, and let's do it. Uh, thank you so much. I think, yeah, good bunch. We'll see where we end up.